Beta 3 actually brought this new thing called a lockdown mode. Now I just saw this, you know, mentioned today. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's been in previous betas, I didn't see it. And Apple just now announced it today and funny enough, Beta 3 came out today too. So I wasn't expecting it. But if we go ahead and actually showcase it to you guys, essentially to get there, you can go there by going down into your privacy and security option, which is right down here. If we go and scroll down, we now have this new little option that says lockdown mode. So essentially, if you want to go ahead and mess with it, or if you want to enable it, all you have to do is go into here. And what this, I think this is the probably the biggest feature within beta three that's going to be on the future betas. There's probably other improvements and fixes and so many other things with this, but within lockdown mode, which is you know being talked about a lot, it says lockdown mode is an extreme optional protection that should only be used if you believe you may be personally targeted by a highly sophisticated cyber attack. Most people are never targeted by attacks of this nature. When iPhone is in lockdown mode, it will not function as it typically does. Apps, websites, and features will be strictly limited for security and some experiences will be completely unavailable. So and that seems pretty extreme, and this is what it's supposed to be. I'm assuming if you're like a politician, a huge celebrity, if you're somebody like an A-list celebrity or some somebody like that, I think this is what this is supposed to be tuned for. Now, if you click on learn more, you can basically get into this option, and I'll just tell you and bring you basically into Apple support. So I think that's pretty cool, very interesting. I don't know why it brought you to Apple support. Now let's see what happens when we turn on lockdown mode. So I'm going to go and click here, and it, I guess it basically tells us lockdown mode. When iPhone is in lockdown mode, apps, and and it kind of goes on so messages most messages attachments are blocked that's very interesting incoming facetime calls from people you have not previously called are blocked web browsing is what web browsing technologies and browsing features are blocked that doesn't really make too much sense and device connections apple i mean there's a ton of things so let's just go ahead and turn this on and see what happens so turn on and restart so let's just go and see what happens hopefully my phone doesn't brick but i guess we'll see what happens when we go ahead and go back into it and this is like i mentioned this is probably going to be the biggest feature within beta 3 there's going to be bug fixes and different things like that but while this restarts i will definitely tell you lockdown mode is something that is probably not going to be used by many people if you want to turn it on that's essentially how you do it but like I mentioned, I probably wouldn't recommend installing it for the average person out there. Now, once we go ahead and boot back into it, like I mentioned, I guess we'll see what the iPhone looks like. So we are back on. Weirdly enough, the brightness just kind of glitched up there, which is expected. Oh, unscrolling it, it seems to be kind of about the same. It said web browsing. Okay, so it does say lockdown enabled. So we do have a little option at the bottom that says something that, you know, lockdown is enabled. If we go into here, let's see if there's a little option. So it seems like you can still use pretty much everything. It doesn't give me another prompt. So we had one automation. I don't know why that came up. It doesn't really tell me anything that, you know, lockdown mode is enabled in any of these things except for within the browser. So that was one thing that was mentioned. So now people who call me, if they if I haven't called them before, they're not going to come up. So that was very interesting. Let's see if camera is enabled. So it seems like everything is for the most part pretty much enabled let's try snapchat okay i don't know if this is going to work maybe it does i don't know but i'm sure as more and more people end up using it they'll probably end up getting a little bit you know more they'll basically be able to see what was in this update and all this other stuff if you want to turn it off so it does tell us exactly what's going on down here we can turn it off just like this and turn off and restart but now